So today you come here to register a brand new eBay seller account. If you came here to register an eBay stealth account, make sure to check our description. We have a guide on this. But if you are here just because you want to register and sell on eBay for the first time, follow this guide. It will be short and easy. Two things we have to prepare before we registering an eBay account is that we need to have an email address, any email address and a phone number. Once we have those, we click on register and now we have two options. We can either choose personal account or business account. Actually, it doesn't matter which one you pick, one, pick personal or business account because later on you can switch between those two. Uh, it's way easier to switch from personal to business account, but from business account to personal, you have to contact eBay customer support. At this point, I'm registering as business account because I believe every one of us are trying to make a business in eBay. So they are requesting us for business name. We have to write here a business name we are managing. So our business name called Daniel USA. Our business email of course should be the one we created anywhere and we have to create a strong password for that. For the business location I highly suggest you to choose the one you are working with. So if you are United States citizen you have to choose United States. At this point because I am from Lithuania I have to choose a Lithuania. And I would never mark this checkbox because if I mark this checkbox, I only want to buy on eBay. I don't want to sell. So we are going to sell on eBay so we don't tick this checkbox. Then create account. It gives us a verification for our email. So go to your email and enter a temporary code that eBay just sent you. Click on verify and it's done. You already created your eBay account, but there are way few steps to begin. So at first you have to create your username, but it's totally optional. If you don't choose to create your username, eBay will randomly generate one for you. But at this point, I should choose something similar to my company name. So Daniel Corp 2020. Okay, that should be fine. It's not taken. Hit on continue. Because I'm from Europe, I will have to choose different things than the people that are from Asia or from United States, but it's all the same. Just follow these steps and it will be all good. So uh, the first question from eBay, do you operate your business as legal entity? And from my experience, if you choose that you are operating your business as legal entity, you will need to provide much more documents to eBay. Of course, those accounts will be way stronger than accounts that you choose to manage your business as owner. But at this point, uh, it's way better to choose this option that you are business is legal entity if you have a company anywhere in your world. But at this point, I'm choosing that I am owner of a small company and I don't need to provide much documents, but it's almost the same. It only requests you less documents. And here we go. We need an additional information about ourselves. So first and last name. First and last name should be yours, not your company or something, because this is identity information. The person who will be in charge of the company of your eBay account. So if you have a middle name, you should type it here because once they require your passport, it should be 100 the same as it's written here. Country or region, it cannot be changed because I selected Lithuania in the past once I was registering eBay account. So if you select that your business, that you are business operating in United States, this should be United States. For residential street address and all the address, you should enter 100% match as it would looks like on your documents, let's say bank statement or utility bill. For the phone number, you have to understand that once you select a country at the beginning, as I showed you, where you are operating your business account. This means that for this country, you will have to have a phone number. So if you choose a United States, you'll have to provide a United States 
phone number. If I choose Lithuania, I have to provide a Lithuanian phone number. And this is very important thing because eBay allows you to select your nationality because even if I am from Lithuania, I can live in USA and vice versa. So if you are United States citizen, and you are living in Lithuania, you can keep this nationality as United States. But in my case, I would like to choose Lithuania because my passport, my documents, everything is in Lithuania. So eBay wants to know my nationality. So I'm, I'm not lying. I'm providing what eBay do wants. For the date of birth, there are some mit misunderstanding because in different countries there is different format for date of birth for example in my country ter there is first days 10 months 10 years but ebay asks you to provide with months days and years ebay requests you to enter first month 10 day 10 year so i'm entering month 10 day and 10 year and then i hit on continue then eBay requires you to verify your phone number and you just need to text me or call me. Once you've done that, you should receive your an SMS code shortly and just enter it into eBay. If you don't receive an SMS shortly, you can you have an option to resend the code, but very often eBay sends you this code in a minutes. So once you confirm your phone number, hit on continue, wait for it to load. And then you will be asked to provide your business address. Now you have to fill the very same address or your company address. So in my case, I will fill in the same address as I filled before and hit on continue. At this point, eBay asking for a bank. In my case, international bank account number, which which is IBAN. If you are registering United States or Asia accounts, you will be requesting for a Pioneer account. The link for the Pioneer account I will leave in the description. If you are registering Europe account, you will be requested to provide an IBAN. It means an Europe bank account. Uh, and if you are registering on different country, your IBAN will start with uh, your country, not, uh, two letters, three letters or something. But it can be changed as you can see i can delete it and insert any iban i want so in this case i'm choosing other iban not my country iban and hit on continue now if you made a mistake somewhere in the details when you are registering you can change it now because later on it will be difficult for you to change the details so double check everything in here and if it's fine if it's correct hit on confirm now you have successfully created an eBay account, that's it. But the very last part for your account to be active, you need to confirm your bank account. Sooner or later there will be a red alert pops up right here saying that you need to confirm two deposits sent to your bank account. Two deposits will be sent to your bank account between 1 and 10 cents and you need to confirm it later to fully verify your account. Don't be shocked if your account will be suspended in a minute because that's what happening in eBay. New sellers got suspensions and you have to deal with it. If this will happen and your account will be suspended, you will need to create an eBay Stealth account. And if you don't know what eBay Stealth account is, you can check our guide in the description.